Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers to find the longest and the shortest distances from the given point which is 1, 2, minus 1 to the sphere whose equation is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 24. Let us take a point on the sphere as b x, y, z. So let x, y, z be a point in a sphere. And there is a given point. So we are going to find the distance between this point and any point on the sphere using the distance formula which is x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square plus z plus 1 whole square. And let's take the square of this. So d square is nothing but x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square plus z plus 1 whole square. Now this is our function f of x comma y comma z and g of x comma y comma z is our sphere equation. This is like a condition. So x square plus y square plus z square. Let's bring the 24 to this side. So, we get x square plus y square plus z square minus 24. We have to write the auxiliary function capital F of x comma y comma z comma lambda. So, this will be in the terms of x, y, z and lambda. So, our F of x comma y comma z comma lambda is nothing but f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into g of x comma y comma z. Now let's substitute. So capital F of x is nothing but x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square plus z plus 1 whole square plus lambda into x square plus y square plus z square minus 24. Now we have to find the partial differentiation with respect to x. So this is 2 into x minus 1 other two terms are constant plus lambda into 2x. Similarly partial differentiation with respect to y is 2 into y minus 2 plus lambda into 2y. Now, partial differentiation with respect to z is 2 into z plus 1 into lambda into 2z. As per the condition and the working procedure, we have to equate fx, fy and fz to 0. Let's find what is lambda in each case. In the first case, we will carry this x minus 1 into 2 to the other side. So, lambda into 2x equal to minus 2 into x minus 1. So from this lambda is minus 2 into x minus 1 by 2x. After cancelling the 2 we get lambda equal to minus of x minus 1 by x. Let's keep this as the first equation. In the same way from the second that is f y and f z if I take lambda the lambda will be minus of y minus 2 divided by y. Similarly, lambda equal to minus of z plus 1 by z. So, we got three equations. We have to solve this to find the values of x, y and z. Since all the three are lambda, we are equating all the three are lambda together. That is minus of x minus 1 by x equal to minus of y minus 2 by y equal to minus of z plus 1 by z. From this, we have to get the relationship between x, y and z. So, let's cancel all the minus sign. Now, let's take only the first two part and cross multiply. So, when I cross multiply, it will be y into x minus 1 equal to 
x into y minus 2. So this is x y minus y equal to x y minus 2 x. You can cancel x y and this minus. So finally we get y is equal to 2 x. Let us keep this as it is. Again let us equate second and third term and cross multiply. So z into y minus 2 equal to y into z plus 1. Again if I multiply this z y minus 2 z equal to z y plus y. So we can cancel z y on both the sides. So from this y equal to minus 2 z or z is equal to y by minus 2 or from here x is equal to y by 2. So we got the relationship between x y and z. Let us substitute this in the square equation which is x square plus y square plus z square equal to which is equal to 24. Now let us keep x square as it is. But for y, we can replace 2x. So, when it is square, it is going to be 4x square plus z is nothing but y by minus 2. But y is 2x. So, it is actually y by minus 2. But in place of y, 2x will come. So, totally, after cancelling this, it is minus x. But anyway, it is whole square equal to 20. So let us cancel this. Now we have x square plus 4 x square plus x square equal to 24. So totally this is 6 x square equal to 24 and the value of x square is equal to 24 by 6 and x square is equal to and from this x is equal to plus or minus 2 since it is a point negative also possible. So if x equal to 2 similarly if x is equal to minus 2 you have to find the y and z. So here if x is equal to minus 2. So if x is 2 if I substitute here we get the value of y as 4. When I put minus 2, it is minus 4. So, the value of y is equal to 4 here and the value of y is minus 4. Similarly, z is y by minus 2. So, z is equal to this by minus 2 will give minus 2 and here minus 4 by minus 2 will give plus 2. Therefore, the stationary points are one set of points we take from this and another set of point we take from this. So the stationary points are 2, 4, minus 2 and another point is minus 2, minus 4 and 2. Now in the question we are asking for the longest and the shortest distance from this point 1, 2, comma minus 1. So what is given in the question is the point 1 comma 2 comma minus 1. So I have to find the distance between this and this. Suppose this is point A and B which we got and suppose this is point P which is given in the question. I have to find the distance AP which is root of 2 minus 1 whole square plus 4 minus 2 whole square plus minus 2 minus or minus 1 so which is plus 1 whole square. So totally this is root of 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 square is 1. This is 2 square. 2 square is 4 and this is minus 1 whole square which is 1. So we get root 6 units and another one we have to find the distance BP between point B and P that is root of minus 2 minus 1 whole square 
then minus 4 minus 2 whole square then 2 minus of minus plus 1 whole square and this will be totally first term is minus 3 whole square which is 9 this is minus 6 whole square which is 36 and 3 whole square which is 9 totally this is 36 plus 18 which is 54 but 54 can be written as 9 into 6 and this 9 when we take outside the root we get 3 root 6 so 3 root 6 units from these two distance we come to know AP is the shortest so the shortest distance is root 6 and the longest distance is 3 root 6 shortest distance equal to root 6 units and longest distance equal to 3 root 6 units.